Hi, my name is Thomas Leifert. I'm application engineer for wireless communication dedicated to the automotive industry. Today I would like to show you our test system for eCall and Eroglonus. For our setup, we have the core component, which is our E7515A UXM, which is a base station emulator giving us the mobile network that is being used for eCall and Eroglonus. On top of that, we have our EXG, which we use for generating a GNSS signal to give the device that we have in front here a GNSS signal to give it a position it needs to transmit over the mobile network back to the public safety answering point. So for this demo, we prepared this as a GSM cell. On this machine, we have the PSAP, that is the public safety answering point, directly installed on the UXM. So there's no fuss with external cables. Basically, all you need is the UXM with the PSAP running on the unit and a connection to your device on the test. So what happens in an e-call? I will demonstrate that by pressing a little button. So see this as my car under crash and we're running into trouble now. So you've seen the data being populated. So the minimum set of data contains data like the VHAL registration, the VHAL type, the propulsion type, the position data, and time of the incident. When we received the e-call, we will see the decoded data on the right. And here on the left, we see the directly unencoded data. Down here, we have a field which gives us an overview of what happened. And when we switch to the audio PCM field here, this tab, you see these were the audio data that we received from the device on the test. And these were the data, the sync and the acknowledgement data from the PSAP. So this is PSAP to IVS and this is IVS to PSAP. On the next tab, we have a map that shows the position where the crash happened. And on the last tab, we have Eroglonus. The difference between eCall and Eroglonus is eCall mandates to use GSM and GPS as the navigation system and has an option for Galileo as another navigation option. Eroglonus has GSM and wideband CDMA as the standards as of now for the communication and GLONUS as the navigation standard, hence Eroglonus, and optional it can use GPS. And Eroglonus also has a fallback. Um, Russia is a big country and uh, if you have a bad network coverage, what works most often is an SMS, a text message. So in case the voice call couldn't be established, a text message will be sent. What's different on next generation eCall is we're using LTE as the connection technology. So voice over LTE. In case that a public safety answering point has old technology, we still support, and it will be still supported, to have a standard voice call over the Volti technology to transmit the data in this more or less analog format that we had before to cover for older uh, installations in the field.